Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back to math class. We're continuing to look at differential calculus and in this lesson we're going to look at differentiating trigonometric functions. Let's begin with sine if our function is sine of x then our derivative is cosine of x. Now with all of these derivatives we're working in radian measures. These don't apply to degree measures. These rules apply to functions in radian measurement. Now let's look at a slightly more involved example if our function is sine of function of x in other words, some function more involved than simply the value or the variable x, then our derivative is the cosine of x times the derivative of f of x. Let's work through an example. Let's take the function y equals x times sine of x. So we're going to apply the product rule since we are multiplying. Our derivative, we want the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. So our first function is x, the derivative of x is 1 times the second function sine of x plus the first function x times the derivative of the second function which is cosine of x and we end up with sine x plus x times cosine x. As another example if our function equals sine 3x minus 2, then our differentiation, our derivative, is cosine of 3x minus 2. Applying the chain rule, we will multiply by the derivative of 3x minus 2. The derivative of 3x is 3, and the derivative of minus 2, which is a constant, falls away and we're left with the derivative equals 3 times cosine of 3x minus 2. Let's consider cosine. If our function y equals cosine x, then our derivative equals negative sine x. If our function is cosine of a more involved function, cosine of the function of x, then the derivative is negative sine of the function of x times the derivative of the function of x. And again, let's look at examples. Let's follow the examples that we used with sine. If we have the function y equals x times cosine x. Our derivative is, using again the product rule, the derivative of x is 1 times cosine x plus x times the derivative of cosine x is minus sine x, which simplifies to cosine x minus x times sine x. And a second example, if our function is the cosine 3x minus 2, then our derivative is negative sine 3x minus 2 times the derivative of 3x minus 2, which is 3 which simplifies to negative 3 times sine of 3x minus 2. Now let's look at the tangent function. 
if our function is tangent of x, then the derivative is secant squared x. And if we're working with a function and we're dealing with something more involved than simply x tangent of a function, our derivative is secant squared x times the derivative of f of x. And for the tangent function, we'll work with functions similar to those we use for sine and cosine. y equals x times tangent x. We'll apply the product rule. The derivative of y equals the derivative of x, which is 1, times tangent x plus x times the derivative of tangent x secant squared x, which will simplify to tangent of x plus x times secant squared x. And our second example, y equals tangent 3x minus 2. The derivative of y equals secant squared 3x minus 2 times the derivative of 3x minus 2, which is 3. And we simplify to 3 times secant squared 3x minus 2. So these are six examples of differentiating trigonometric functions. We've looked at sine, cosine, and tangent. We haven't differentiated cosecant, secant, and cotangent, but you can research those on your own. Be sure to work through practice problems from your textbook relating to differentiating trigonometric functions, and I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.